I had um, started sharing my prayer repertoire with you guys, and I started having problems with my phone, and AT&T has a very long wait time, so this will just be part two. This is the last prayer I say every morning. So my last prayer every day is a prayer for Israel. And it's kind of good that happened because now I can show you why and we're having problems with the phone again. I pay for unlimited, so this should not be happening. I'm going to show you why I say a prayer for we should pray for Israel any day, anyway because Israel is very important, super important to God. It's a pretty big hill with lots of trees, and Jesus is finding a trail, and he's going to go through what is known as the kingdom. Israel is being attacked. <laughs> Jesus is riding a donkey, and people begin to see it. And remember, he was taking his time. This was not a hurried thing. It By ISIS quite a lot Jesus lately. So... What Jesus is doing. And so they began to get together. In fact, it says that when Jesus came close this is to why I say this prayer every day. Cried. He wept over the city yeah. because he had offered himself to the city. Because right now, the main reason I say it is because of ISIS orchestrating a lot of different attacks in Israel. So let's go over here. And let's pray for Israel. So you guys see, I say the um, devotion to the drops of blood of Jesus Christ. First, I do my repentance prayer. Then I say the Lord's prayer. I say those two at night before I go to sleep. But this is my morning prayer repertoire, and it's pretty lengthy. It's probably about 30 minutes. And I do it every morning. I've only missed it like once in a very long time. So, I do my repentance prayer, I do the Lord's prayer, then I do devotion to the drops of blood of Jesus Christ, the shoulder wound of Christ's prayer, consecration prayer to the most precious blood of Jesus Christ, pray for Ukraine in time of invasion, and then I pray for Israel. That's my last and final prayer. So here we go. Hi, um, in this video, um, I introduce a prayer for Israel, written by Derek Prince. Um, I've come to realize recently how important it is to pray for Israel, uh, especially in the end times, um, with um, the prophecies being fulfilled, uh, including the Romans, where it talks about the Gentiles uh, being saved, and also um, later on, um, the Israel will come back to God, and so that all Israel will be saved. And just as the Psalm 122, 6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. And so I introduce uh, this um, prayer from Derek Prince. Please read along or pray along. Over the years, I have come to understand that prayer is most effective in three stages. Proclamation, thanksgiving, and praise. As I travel around the world and meet so many people from different parts of the body of Christ, I find that in many places, God is placing a new emphasis on proclamation. The word proclaim is derived from a Latin verb which means to shout forth or to shout aloud. It means essentially to declare something with great boldness and strength. Let us join together with thousands in agreement and each day proclaim aloud one scripture prayer for Israel, one for America and one for the next generation. Father God, remove the veil you have sovereignly placed over the eyes of Israel, that they would recognize Jesus as their Messiah. Lord, show your mercy and favor to Israel in this set time. 
We pray for the current leaders in Israel, including the Prime Minister, the Mayor of Jerusalem, and all those in military service. Raise up government leaders in Israel and worldwide who will not seek to divide the land and who will recognize the unique significance of Jerusalem in God's end-time purposes. He who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as shepherd, keeps his flock. Father, continue to draw the Jewish people to you according to your sovereign plan. Let them all be confounded and turn back that hate Zion. Let them be as grass upon the hostops, which withers before it grows up. Lord, deal justly and swiftly with your enemies. Destroy and divide the tongues of those who would incite violence against Israel. In the name of Jesus, we bind every false religion and false doctrine that does not acknowledge your eternal plan for the land and people of Israel. The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous. Father, break the strongholds of religion, pride, and wickedness that seek to control Israel. The Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make Israel his people. Use us to help others understand your plan for Israel and your love for the Jewish people. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes their plans of no effect. We declare that God's purposes for Israel will be completely fulfilled and that he will be glorified. Show your loving kindness to your people Israel. Show your loving kindness to your people Israel and keep them as the apple of your eye. Hide them under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress them. From their deadly enemies who surround them. We pray that you would remember your covenants and promises. We pray that you would remember your covenants and promises towards Israel. Especially when others rise up against her to swallow her alive. When the wrath is kindled against her. The waters will not overwhelm her. God will not give her as prey to their teeth. Sanctify your great name, Sanctify your great name which has been profaned among the nations, which has been profaned in the midst of Israel. The nations nation shall that know the that the Lord is God when, when he is sanctified in Israel before their, before their eyes. Sprinkle the clean water of your word on Israel and cleanse her from all her faithfulness and from all her idols, including abortion and the occult. Give Israel a new heart and put a new spirit within her. Remove her heart of stone and give her a heart of flesh that can be res respond to the Holy Spirit and cause her to walk in your statutes. Keep your commandments and do them. Cause the church to fulfill its commission to preach the gospel to the whole world so the full number of the Gentiles would come into the kingdom. Then all Israel will be saved. We pray, for the peace of we pray for the peace of Jerusalem for to and for it to remain Israel's capital. undivided Name, capital. Amen. Father, in your mercy, Father, in your mercy vanquish, the, vanquish tremen the tremendously, tremendously powerful, powerful religious, religious spirits which dominate, which dominate the whole territory, territory Jewish, Christian, Christian, and, and others. We pray for a spirit of unity. We pray for, for a spirit of unity, for peace between religious for and secular Jews, for peace to exist land. between believers in the land. We pray for the body of Messiah in Israel. We pray for the body of Messiah in Israel to become a praying, body. We pray that this body, and and pray that this body would allow the love and compassion of Yeshua, Yeshua to flow through them Raise and touch everyone they encounter. Put more watchmen Raise up intercessors for Israel. Who would give you no peace day or night? On the walls of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who would give you no are. peace day or night until you establish Jerusalem Father, and make her the praise of the earth? The mercy you Father, to the land. bring glory to your name through bring the mercy the you showed to the land. Rain upon the bring the necessary the seasonal rain upon the country. Cause the crops to be bountiful. We, we pray, pray that, that the, the three spiritual, spiritual forces of humanism, humanism Marxist, Marxist socialist, socialist philosophy, and the spiritual, and the spiritual inheritance of the Ottoman, of the Ottoman Empire, Empire will be broken and rendered powerless. Bless, Bless Israel through, through the many immigrants who are flowing back to the nation. nation. Bring a sovereign supernatural move of the Holy Spirit among these new immigrants, that they might proclaim your truth to their fellow, fellow Jews. We pray for radical change in the Israeli system of government, that divisiveness and partisanship would give way to unity and cooperation. Grant wisdom and revelation to all members of the Knesset and Israel's Supreme Court. 
we pray that in the midst of the pressures, the people of Israel will turn to you, God. We pray that you will hear the hard cries of people in this land and have mercy. As it says in Isaiah 30, 19, you shall weep no more. He will be very gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer. Pour out your spirit upon the people of Israel, especially upon the young people, so that your works can be declared to future generations. Raise up sons of Zion who take God's word seriously in opposition to the humanistic sons of Greece. We pray for the Holy Spirit to intervene in the current situation in Israel. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard the against them. The Turn of the, the hearts of the people of Israel to trust in the name of the Lord the for deliverance, life. not in the chariots and horses of their military might. God, raise up, God, elders, and young raise up elders and young leaders to teach and train to the new generation of Israelis who are coming to faith in the Messiah. We pray that the Palestinian, pray that the Palestinian, Arabs, Palestinian come Arabs will come to faith in Christ in and embrace God's end-time purpose for Israel. Send forth laborers to bring in the appointed harvest from the whole of the Middle East. May Israel's relationship with the United States be strong, and may our nation, and especially young believers, recognize and support God's purposes for Israel. Lord, we ask that young believers in America would come to love the Jewish people as they seek to prepare the way for the return of Messiah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this is the end of the prayer by Derek Prince. Thank you. Okay, you guys. Sorry for the little glitch. Um, I don't know what happened to the phone. It's very annoying. But anyway, you guys have a blessed Sunday, and don't forget to pray. God is real, and He loves you, and He loves to hear from you. You can talk to God about anything. He's holy, so just speak to Him in a way that you know would be correct to speak to God. God bless to keep everyone. I'm praying for everyone every day.